The king of Spain was injected with female hormones because his sex drive would bring down the country. Austin, Texas has an understaffed police force and is telling citizens to collect the evidence at crime scenes themselves. And there's a Pop-Tart lawsuit that just popped up. Hey, these are the weird stories for Monday on Weird AF News. I'm your host, Jonesy. Thanks for joining me. I got three weird news stories. Let's do it. The king of Spain was injected with female hormones because apparently his sex drive was a danger to the state. Now, a former police chief in Spain claims that exiled King Juan Carlos used to be injected with female hormones by the Spanish secret police because his sex drive was a big time danger to the state and the entire country. I don't know what you could do with your sex drive that's so dangerous. I guess if you're just running around trying to put it in everybody, that's dangerous. <laughs> Can your sex drive be this dangerous? I mean, if you're a politician, you need to control such things, though, right? I think Clinton should have had some of these female hormones injected in him. His sex drive was nearly a danger to the state, but it certainly was entertaining, wasn't it? We, have a, we had a long, entertaining trial and tons of jokes. Tons and tons of jokes. Saturday Night Live really made a killing off Clinton's sex drive for sure. Now, this all comes down to this guy named Jose Manuel Villarejo, who's a former police commissioner. He's on trial for corruption. And they're asking him a lot of questions about what went on when King Juan Carlos was in office. And apparently, uh, this guy, King Juan Carlos, was uh, out of control with the sex drive. And uh, But the former police officer that they're, uh, you know, talking to in the court, Jose Manuel Verrejo, that I mentioned earlier, denies having any involvement in the effort to manage King Juan Carlos's sex drive. And uh, so he's like, all right, look, at this is what we did, but I, I didn't do it. I didn't make the injections. I was just a witness to it. <laughs> I witnessed him slowly grow breasts <laughs> and stop harassing all the female employees around the office. I witnessed that. You got to really harass a lot of people for them to just duct tape you to a chair and inject you with the opposite hormone, right? Um, and I'm wondering if it even works. I mean, if you just inject a male with estrogen, does that like does that make your sex drive completely go away? I think I need to look this up. Well, well, a quick little L Google search teaches me some things. Does estrogen increase sex drive in males? It says here, estradiol, the predominant form of estrogen, plays a critical role in male sexual function. I had no idea. Estradiol in men is essential for modulating libido, erectile function, and spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis. I believe that's the creation of sperm in the testes. Uh, So... Look, at I'm learning here. Apparently, estrogen doesn't make you, uh, doesn't decrease the sex drive in the male then. So I don't know what they're doing with this king of Spain. <laughs> it doesn't say whether it works or not for him or worked. And it doesn't say why they did it. I'm curious. <laughs> I want answers to all of these questions. <laughs> he would just have been just doing some horrible stuff <laughs> for them to just, just enact this change on his physiology they're like you know what no more get over here grabby grabby mcgee we're not going to let you touch people anymore this is out of control (laughs) all right this isn't america we're not going to let the politicians grab vaginas all right we're going to do something about that we're going to inject you with something or just going to tie your hands behind your back in austin texas the police are telling the citizens to collect their own evidence at crime scenes. A business owner in Austin, Texas, claims that the police told him to gather his own evidence at the scene of his burglarized store. Uh, They explain that this was due to the coronavirus pandemic and the fact that the police are understaffed. Kirk Andrews is the owner of Petticoat Fair Lingerie in Austin. He told the media that he called the police after his shop had been robbed. And, uh, the police told him that he should put on some gloves and search for the bullet casings himself, himself because the police would not be able to assist because of the pandemic. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> Here's a quote from this guy, Andrews. 
Yeah, they got back on the phone with me and said that nobody would be coming out to my store and said it was due to COVID restrictions, which didn't make any sense to me. Andrews said that 911 told him to call 311, where he was told to put on some gloves and search for the bullet casings and other evidence and hold on to them and give them to the police himself. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, just uh, brush for fingerprints. Why don't you, sir? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to brush for fingerprints. Because although I've seen Law & Order episodes, I, I don't have the equipment or the training. <laughs> we need help over here. My store's been robbed. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> this is out of control. Yeah, if you could just uh, search for clues and then, uh, you know, just take on the investigation yourself. We're trying to cut corners over here. We're very understaffed. If you could go search for the perpetrators yourself. You know, we're going to mail you a, um, a siren that you can stick to the roof of your car. I, we find it helpful when you're pulling over uh, a potential suspect. You could just use that. Um, we'll, we'll probably we'll mail you a couple weapons as well. Some mace, a, a baton. And uh, if you if you have any experience with guns, just let us know. We'll mail you one of those, too. We would we would love if you could just take on the, the case yourself. Sir, we just don't have time. And by the way, we're a little backed up on some other cases. If you have some fingerprinting skills or you have some baton wielding skills, we could use you on a few other cases. We have a lady who was uh, molested in uh, North Austin, and we have we have another individual who was who was robbed on the corner of Fourth and Spring. If you could uh, just help us out with those cases, only if you got the skills and the time. All right, we're a little understaffed here at the Austin PD. Now, unfortunately, this guy, Andrews, who owns the lingerie store, said his store has been burglarized multiple times in the past and has been told by police that they just don't have the manpower to track down what they described as shoplifters. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand they, they can't just take some video footage of someone coming in your store and, and then just spend all this time trying to find a shoplifter that stole, I don't know a basket full of socks or something. I, I get it. I get, there's certain little petty crimes that it's just, it's not worth the resources to go after and dive deep on. I get that. But to not send anybody over, like to take a report and to just help the guy out a little bit, that just seems unreasonable. Uh, Austin police did not immediately respond to a request for comment from the media. It says here, Austin police stopped sending sworn officers to certain calls where no immediate danger is involved on October 1st in order to allow uniformed officers to focus on more serious calls in emergency. The city is currently plagued by a police shortage that Austin police chief Joseph Chacon has referred to as a, quote, crisis. Oh, that's crazy. Well, this is a very easy problem to solve. You just make more citizen police officers. You know, you just extend an invitation. You throw a big keg party, right? And you say, hey, anybody come in? We're going we're gonna to have you all sworn in as citizen police officers. Now go out there. Go out and, go out and get them, guys. You know, I mean, after you sober up. You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. Too difficult. No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. The food company Kellogg's is in a jam over Pop-Tarts lawsuit. I like Pop-Tarts. You guys like Pop-Tarts? Strawberry frosted Pop-Tarts. Who likes them? Do you guys have Pop-Tarts in other parts of the world? I'm curious. Please email me and let me know yes or no you have Pop-Tarts. Funnyjones at gmail.com. I'm very curious. A report says that a woman filed a lawsuit against Kellogg's saying that the way they market their strawberry Pop-Tarts is very misleading. Ooh, how is it misleading, lady? New York resident Elizabeth Russett is suing the giant food company Kellogg's. She claims that the fruit filling in the strawberry frosted Pop-Tarts is mostly other fruits, not strawberries. <laughs> Lady, go away. <laughs> Seriously. First of all, they're delicious. Who cares what the hell's in them? 
Are you really going to break down the ingredients of a Pop-Tart and then come away with that as your lawsuit? Like, there's so much other poison in there. There's poison in Pop-Tarts, basically. Like, this stuff is not good for your body. And you're going to point out the flavoring? This is what you're going to make the center of your lawsuit, you dummy? Wow, it's so ridiculous that anyone can have a lawsuit. <laughs> you guys just stupid people. With way too much time on their hands. Get a life, Russet. Get a life. So the media obtained the lawsuit. And that says the nutrition label that's in question actually shows pastries are heavier on the pears and apples rather than strawberries. Yeah, so there's more there's more pear and apple in it than strawberries, so it's very misleading. Russet, the lady in the lawsuit, who's making this lawsuit, who really needs to get a goddamn life, she insists it's not enough to provide the berries nutritional benefits, let alone a strawberry taste. These things don't have nutritional benefits, lady. Where the hell have you been? It's a damn Pop-Tart. Nobody's eating Pop-Tarts like, mmm, this should be the cornerstone of every healthy breakfast. Are you stupid? <laughs> We're eating it like it's dessert. We know what it is. <laughs> this lady, come on. And for this, she says she wants $5 million. <laughs> $5 million. Yo, lady, come on. We'll give you a box of Captain Crunch. Shut up. <laughs> There is no word yet on Kellogg's response. Kellogg's, don't respond to this idiot, please. Or just write back, this lady's a moron. We're not acknowledging her lawsuit. She needs, <laughs> she needs to get a life. Just write, russets should get a life. That's our statement. <laughs> oh, man, it's just so frivolous. It really is. Now, look, at I've, I've, I've been in situations where I needed money before, but I never thought to attack, you know, one of my favorite uh, snacks, you know, and by the way, I'm a reasonable human being. You know? I know what a hot pocket is. I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, hey guys, this is uh this doesn't provide a lot of nutrition. Uh, I mean you say <laughs> you say it's pizza flavor, but there's really there's really not enough pepperoni in here. Uh, I'd like five mil. <laughs> Not enough people are calling these people idiots. And by the way, just stop attacking our classic breakfast treats. Leave them alone. Don't be going after toaster strudels as well. Toaster strudels. <laughs> I can't even barely get it out of my mouth. Toaster strudels. Guys, remember with that little packaging and you you, uh, you squeeze out that frosting on that? <laughs> those things were... What the hell were those called? Toaster strudels, right? Oh, man. You might as well eat a birthday cake for breakfast. We know it's bad for us. We know. We don't care. It never rains in Southern California. Well, it's raining today in Southern California. Uh, how's the weather where you're at, guys? I hope it's better than it is here. I also hope that you had a pretty sweet weekend. Sweet weekend, man. Just pretty sweet. I had a great weekend. A couple of shows. Played a lot of softball. Uh, watched some football. My Red Sox were eliminated on Friday from uh, the playoffs, and I'm pretty upset about that. But, hey, you know what? We got pretty far. What can I say? We were playing with house money when we got past the Yankees in that one-game playoff, in my opinion. So, hey, whatever. It was a good run. Uh, so what else did I want to say? Yeah, no, Not much. Uh, I'll keep this brief. Uh, please consider joining the Patreon, where today I'm going to be uploading a video of me doing some funny stuff. So you're going to want to see that. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's very good. And uh, as always, you also get that, uh, that good feeling that you're supporting a, a one-man show. It's a one-man news crew here, really. Do it all myself inside a closet. Yep. Weird AF News is a, a one-man operation. So uh, consider supporting me as I trudge through five-day-a-week news show. Right on. Patreon.com slash Weird AF News. And you can also go to weirdafnews.com and support the show that way. That's what you can do. Click on the Patreon banner. That's right. Keep it coming, baby. We'll keep the news coming five days a week. As always, if you come across a story, you'd like to send it to me, pretty easy. Hit that email, funnyjones at gmail.com. Or go to my Instagram, at funnyjones, and just DM me a link to the story. Pretty simple. And you might as well say what's up while you do it. Just say, hey, what's up? How's it going? Tell me who you are. Tell me where you live. I'd love to know where people are from. And the, the weirder the place, the better. All right, that's about it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again. Thanks for sticking around. Appreciate you.